Hey, it's uh, Chris here today from Huckle One's Equipment. So we did an overview of the KC70, now we're gonna be doing an overview of the KC120. And again, we're gonna do what we always do and start at the front and work our way to the back. And then we're gonna do a demonstration of the three-way dump there. So give you an idea of how it functions. So stick with us. When talking about a KC120, kind of an overview of them is with Kubota, there's two track carriers, the KC70 and then the 120. Uh, we've just done an overview of the 70. Again, it is much smaller, much simpler, and not as robust as what you're gonna see on the KC120. Again, obviously the 120 is quite a bit more money, uh, but a lot more functional to it. Again, where does the KC120 get its name? Well, that 120 means that this box carries 1,200 kilograms. So quite a good weight capacity there. Again, it sits about 38 inches wide. Keep things nice and simple that way. If you can get through that 40, you can get through that 40 inch opening, uh, get you in that backyard. Again, it's gonna work in tandem with your K008s, U10s, U17s. Uh, you know, basically if you can get those tracks in between that opening, you're gonna get in that backyard. And it's gonna great, work great whether you're taking the material in or out. And you're gonna see these at your rental houses and you know, in cities with your subdivisions with those small openings. And then the, the functioning of this front is awesome. Dump it with that three-way dump. Again, everything is fully removable here, whether it's the front gate or the two side gates. Uh, it's two levers, one on each side, takes the front off, and then either side for your side. And again, whether you, if you need to get that extra large material into the back or just depending on what material you're moving around. After that, um, to make the dumps side to side, very simplistic. It's as simple as one pin, and that's all you're taking out. Uh, and we're gonna demonstrate after how to dump it from one side or the other. That's the big thing about these track carriers, they're simple. There's no options to get, it's just basically this is it. Yeah, which makes it a fully functional machine that you're gonna buy, utilize. Uh, again, they're not for everybody. Uh, they're kind of a specialized piece of equipment, but Kubota does a fantastic job of putting it together. So now let's talk about the track system as well as the operator system. So when talking about the track system on uh, the KC120, it's kind of like our skid steers and excavators. It's just a nice, simple bogey wheel system that makes it a nice, comfortable ride. Again, when comparing it to the KC70, it is longer, so you're gonna get a more comfortable ride. Again, their travel speeds are virtually the same, uh, with the KC going a little bit quicker. But at the end of the day, gonna be quite comfortable on there. After that, whenever you get to the track tension, uh, it's same as all the other ones. It's, uh, you know, pump some grease in there, take it out. Uh, it's fully adjustable. Uh, you know, whenever you pop a track on and off, uh, very simplistic, it's very, it follows the same line as the as the rest of our units. So, so whenever you get back to the operator station, uh, you'll see it's very similar to the KC70. Again, there's not a whole lot of differences, but it is bigger and better uh, at the end of the day. Again, the seats are virtually the same. Again, you are sitting over top of that engine. Uh, so not overly comfortable, but not too, too bad uh, for what it is. After that, whenever you get into the actual operation of the unit, uh, it's the same idea. You got the two levers controlling each track whenever you go to turn. Um, it now has a forward reverse pedal. Uh, whenever you were the KC70, you know it had three forward, three reverse gears. Uh, now you're down to a fully hydrostatic forward reverse pedal. And then after that, you have your dump lever, hand throttle, and then a brake on this side. Yeah, so a very simplistic system. Uh, and then one thing that they also have added to it that's nice in the construction world is uh, some tie downs. So it makes it nice and easy to strap this baby down and move her from job site to job site. So, so yeah, now let's talk about the engine. Um, so when talking about the engine on a KC120, it is now a two cylinder uh, Kubota diesel engine compared to the KC70, which is just a single cylinder which at the end of the day just means it runs a little bit smoother, quieter. Um, and again, it is fully enclosed and very easy to get to. It just, uh, again, it is a lockable compartment, but just one lever and open it up and it gives you complete access to whatever you want to work on under there, whether it be checking your dipsticks or uh, air filters and whatnot. Um, and again, there is a couple belts on there, so uh, be mindful of that. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, being a two cylinder over a single cylinder, it, it is smoother, very fuel efficient. You're gonna enjoy that aspect of it. So, so now let's uh, jump to a, doing a demonstration of the three, three way dump.
that brings the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a demonstration how the three-way dump works on a KC120, as well as a brief overview of the unit. So if you enjoyed today's video, uh, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. Thank you.